Hi kindergarten friends, today we're going to be using the element of art shape to create pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns. The first thing that we are going to do is use black paint to create our circles for our pumpkins. You're going to receive a palette with black paint in the middle with a lid on it. You're going to need to take the lid off first. After you've taken the lid off, you're going to be using a paper towel roll to make your circles. So you will be dipping the paper towel roll into the black paint and then you are going to make a print on the paper with that black paint. You're going to want to fill your whole paper up without overlapping any of your circles. Next, we're going to add shapes to create our pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. The first shape we're going to add is a rectangle to the top of every circle to create this stem for our pumpkins. Next, we're going to be adding different shapes to create the face for our jack-o'-lantern. There are examples up on the screen for you to look at, and then you're going to use your Sharpie marker and you are going to be drawing those different shapes to create the face on all of your pumpkins. Each pumpkin should have a different face. Think about different shapes that could represent different emotions. What kind of shapes would make your jack-o'-lantern look happy? What kind of shapes would make your jack-o'-lantern look sad? What kind of shapes would make your jack-o'-lantern look surprised? What kind of shapes would make your jack-o'-lantern look angry? What kind of shapes do you think would make your jack-o'-lantern look scared? Use all these different shapes to create different faces for all of your jack-o'-lanterns. Our final step is to add color to our picture. You're going to be choosing greens and brown crayons to color your stems in for all of your jack-o'-lanterns. 
After you've gotten all of your stems colored in, the next step is to color in your actual jack-o'-lanterns. I would like for you to find as many orange crayons as you can in your art box. And then you're gonna use those orange crayons to color in all of your jack-o'-lanterns. Our last step is to color in our background. We're gonna be using all different kinds of purple crayons to color in our background. So reach inside your art box and find all the purples that you can. When you're coloring the background, make sure you don't color into your pumpkins, but all around them. It is okay to do sort of a scribble for the background, and you're gonna use one purple to do the whole background and then go over the top with the next color, and then finally the top with the last color, or however many purples you have. I can't wait to see what you guys create. 